Hey developers, today we're going to look at using Wallaby.js with Vue CLI 3. So in my previous video, I used Vue CLI 2. And in this one, we're going to use Vue CLI 3, the latest beta version, to see how we can set up and use it. So you can see here I'm in Windows and I have 3.0 beta 11. Oh, and by the way, if you don't know, my name is Eric Hanchett. I do programming videos. I also do a lot of tutorials. If you guys are interested more, in the, I have a link below where you can get a free Vue.js cheat sheet. All you have to do is click on that link below and put your email address in, and I'll send it to you. Uh, I'm an author of the Vue.js in action book too, so just give you a heads up on that. So you can see here, I have 3.0 beta 11, but let's go ahead and create a new project. So I go to Vue Create, and I'm gonna put my proj wallaby one. And it's going to ask me some questions. So I'm going to choose manual select features. And the most important thing here is I'm going to hit spacebar next to unit testing. And I'm going to choose Jest because that seems to work best with Wallaby. And I'm going to leave it in dedicated configuration files. I'm going to put no to set the, to save the presets. And we're just going to wait a few minutes. And this is going to go ahead and install. I love installing things. Okay, great. Everything is installed now. So let's change directory to my proj wallaby one. And now since I'm in this directory, I could go ahead and run it. But before I do that, I want to show you this web page here. And I'll leave a link to this description below. And here's the configuration for Vue CLI 3 with wallaby. So it needs us to install the Vue compiler. So let's do that real quickly. And we'll install that. It'll just take a second. I love installations. It takes a while. All right, it's installed now. So it took pretty quickly. And we also have to create a new file called wallaby.js. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Visual Studio code, which it went ahead and opened up here. And I just need to uh, in create a new file here. So I'm going to create a new file and call it wallaby.js. And inside that file, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to copy and paste what it says in here. And we're not using TypeScript, so we don't have to worry about that, but we're using JavaScript in Jest. So I will paste it. And just give you an idea what this is doing, you could see here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. You can see here, this is the way uh, you have to set this environmental variable for Babel and transpiles. But it's basically saying like, here are the files that it's gonna look for. It's gonna run the tests out of this folder. Uh, it's gonna use this special compiler called Wallaby View Compiler. That way it can run things correctly. Uh, it's gonna use this Vue.js preprocessor to make sure everything works correctly. And uh, some Jest configuration stuff here. Now, uh, that's just real light on detail. You can certainly get more information if you go to the wallaby.js website, wallabyjs.com. Um, so since we have this installed, the next thing we need to do is we need to install our extensions. So we can go Control shift p extensions, install extensions. If you look in here, you can search for Wallaby. I already have it installed, but if I didn't, I can install it directly from here. If you're using a different code editor, you just have to look for their plugins, whatever it might be, and Wallaby.js would be available there. And then once you have that installed, you can go ahead and start Wallaby. So you can do Control Shift P and you do Wallaby.js start. Now the first time you start it, it's gonna ask you for a configuration file. And also it's gonna might ask you for a key too. Um, if you don't have a key, you can run it, uh, a free trial run of it. But uh, I'd recommend um, you can purchase it too. The link's below if you like to purchase it. So you can do source, select Wallaby config file. Has it in the drop down here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and let's just look up our spec file. So you can see now in our spec file, we have these little green boxes. And this tells us that our tests are running and that they passed. A nice thing you can do you can put slash slash question mark here and it'll kind of give you some information. That one just says undivined. But it can kind of give you some more information of what's happening. So do slash slash question mark here. If there was something there, it would tell me. See new message there. So that's pretty helpful and handy. 
Uh, we can also do this. We can split this here and we can open up our hello world component file. So here it is on the right hand side. So let's say we had, let's add a new method. So let's do methods and we're going to do add a B and return a plus B. You can see right here a little gray box shows up and that means that we aren't fully covered in our test cases. And in fact, you can run uh, test coverage just by, let's bring up that web page we had before up, move it back over. So if we go to wallabyjs slash app, you can see right from here, this is actually running and connecting to our local server that we have running on our Visual Studio code. So you can see right here, we have 0% test coverage because our ad isn't being covered by anything. So let's see if we can fix that. So just like we did before, and if you saw our view 2.0 video, which is similar, we can uh, test our ad function. We'll put an arrow function here. Actually, let's do this. And we can use our, we'll just, do a wrapper here, const wrapper. We'll do a shallow amount of the hello world. And it gives us a little bit of an error here, but that's fine. And then we can do wrapper.vm.add, and we can even put two numbers in here. And we could do something like this. We can do expect wrapper.vm that add to be uh, nine. So before we do that, we'll just make sure we didn't miss anything. Save it. We'll fix a few things here. This will be a comma. There we go. So it says right here now, Expect the value to be nine, received eight. So five plus three is eight, not nine. So if we just save it there, now it passes. We can look over here. Now we have a big uh, green uh, green uh, uh, green on this side, so we know it's passing on both sides. And if we look back at our code coverage, you can see hello world is now 100% covered. Now you can see overall we're 50% which means that it's not perfect, but what it means is that we have this main.js file and this jest file. So this, we could probably remove the main and jest file from our code coverage, because that doesn't uh, make sense. So what we could do there is we'll go back to here and we'll bring up our wallaby.js file. And right after environment, we're gonna add something called files with no coverage calculated, lated, calculated, if I'm spelling that right. And then in there, I'm gonna put in source main.js, I'm gonna put source, I'll add the router.js, so I don't want it to calculate the code coverage on this, and then just config.js, I'll put a comma here, I'll save it, and then I'll just restart wallaby, restart it one more time. You can see at the bottom right here, you can see it's doing something, so that means you know it's working. And now if we bring up our code coverage again, which I'll bring up in one second. Let me see here, One. let me make sure. Oh, let me see, I have a misspelling here, calculated calculated. Now I'll restart again one more time. I'll let it do its thing. It's recalculating. Great. So I'm going to bring this over. You can see now I have 100% code coverage. I have my hello world covered and all is good with the world. So you see here, this is wallaby.js. You can see it's really simple, easy to use to get started with. Uh, if you guys have questions, leave a comment below. Um, also, uh, check out WallBJS, the link is in the description, and please click like and subscribe and share. Thanks.